everyone, it's Bex from Bexley Creations here and this will be part two of my unboxing from Color Whisper store. Uh, everything has already been taken out of the package. Um, the canvases came wrapped on foam rollers. Each canvas had a new layer of tape around it so we ended up with all this tape just trying to get them off. So. Yeah, that, that was fun. Um, so let me grab the first canvas here. Uh, okay. This is going to be Chroma Simpson. <laughs> I thought this was a really cool design. It looks really crazy. Lots of bright colors, very fun. Uh, this should be a 35 by 50 centimeter full square. It was $18.57 in the 11th of the 11th sale. Um, all of these were purchased during that sale. Uh, they were shipped on the 14th and then they were received today the 3rd of December. Um, in the first unboxing video I did explain why it took so long for them to get here. There was some issues with postage and it going to the wrong place. Um, so feel free to watch that video if you want to hear that story. <laughs> okay, so again, one giant cover sheet. Let me get this flattened out and then we will take a look at it up close. I'm seeing some rivers again. But again, just at the ends here and I really do think that's from unraveling it. Um, I don't think there's any way to avoid that really when they've been wrapped so tightly around foam roller. But the rivers are okay, they don't affect laying the drills down. Get this one going and then take a good look at it. Jewel field looks very, very clear. Let me bring it up. Extremely clear. Um, yeah, there's some little rivers. I don't know if you can see them. Um, I'm trying to get the glare to catch them. It's not really working. But um, yeah, just some tiny ones. They'll be fine. They'll lay flat. So there's the top of his head. <laughs> Got the bottom of his head, his mouth, and all these cool swirls. So I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Let me grab the little packet for this one. There we go. Our inventory sheet. Lots of colours in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, twenty. Ready. Forty five colours. Quite a lot. Uh, they've already been checked off, but I will do my own inventory. Um, I will let you know where to skip ahead to if you don't want to watch the inventory be done. Seven sixty one. Thirty seven oh five two. 
15, one. Three forty three. Six oh three. Two. That's quite a almost fluorescent pink that one. Numbers are wearing off this one a fair bit. So six oh one two eight nine eight is two three seven one one eight thirty two. Again, if you've got one like this, it could be 666 or 999 and you don't know, like you haven't done as many diamond paintings as some people and you don't know off the top of your head. The best way to check is this one, 371, and it's got the thicker sealed part on the left. So you make sure this one also has the sealed part on the left and it would be 666. Um, some places like every moment do actually put an arrow telling you which way is up or down which is very helpful but they're the only place so far that I've seen doing that so 3721 is one 550 is two 311 that one's a little hard to read on that color Again, 996, 966. Make sure you've got the seam on the right side, or the left side in this case, and yeah, 966. Lots of individual packets in this one, so not too much of any one color, I don't think. have a feeling there'll be a fair bit of yellow for his head. Uh, 27 is 3. Apologies for all the sniffling too. I've got some allergies playing out this morning, I think. 7, 3, 10. Three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Five, six, yes. Oh, here comes the yellow. Read seven ninety six one two three four five six of those, yes, and seven ninety two one two three four five six seven, yes, okay. Everything is there. So, I have got a Ziploc bag already labelled up for this one. So we'll pop them in. Oh, I was trying to put them in neatly, but it just didn't work. <laughs> keep track of how many colours are in them. It just makes it a bit interesting. Okay, let's grab the next canvas. Okay, next canvas is this one, which I've called It's a Boy. This is just a small one. It's 20 by 30 centimeters. I figured because it's cartoony, that should be okay. Uh, this one's going to be a gift for a friend of mine who is due to have her baby in January. So hopefully I can get it done in time and sent over to the US. <laughs> um, this was $8.64 and it's a full round. So let's take a look at the little canvas. Oh, it's so tiny. It's so cute. I reckon we're going to get some rivers for flattening it out. Just looking at that. <laughs> I don't think I've actually done one this small. Lots of white, of course. Okay, that's actually caused some bubbling. Yes, just some slight bubbling there um, but again should be able to get that to lay flat we'll um, get the craft knife out and get it to sit back down against the canvas there It's just that, I think that's what, yeah, it's at the back here, but we should be able to 
flatten that out. Okay. Yeah, even just pressing on it like that then has helped a little. And we'll um, press the, the glue down and get the air out. But that's, that's our little baby bear. So that's quite cute. Um, the drill field is very clear. It does have the circles around the symbols. Um, yeah, a lot of white in the background, but it shouldn't take too long to do this one. So I think I'm working on one at the moment that I'm nearly finished. And then I did have a crystal one kitted up to do after that, but I might have to do this one next so I can get it done and get it sent over there in time. Um, okay, let's take a look at the drills. Now this package of drills was crushed up like that in the box. So I was glad it was just the drills and not the canvases that were folded that way. Shouldn't be too many in this one. Try and straighten out our inventory sheet here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen colours. And twenty-three bags of fifty-two hundred. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do inventory, so I will let you know where to skip ahead to. Um, this one shouldn't take long anyway, but just in case you don't want to watch it. So eight forty-six. one of those you know how they get squashed in the seam sometimes it's just yeah part of that 762 is supposed to be four okay I'll hang on with that one 168 is one 3810 is one 317 is one, 807 is one, what have we got here? 535 is one, aha, uh -huh. so we've got some more 762 there, so that gives me five, I'm only supposed to have four, so we've got plus one of that. 47 is 2, 318 is 2, 415 is 5, and the 5200, so we need 23. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So everything's there. Plus an extra bag of the 762. So that's good. Um, let me just find my little bag for that one. And we'll put the drills in. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to have to start on this one soon to be able to get it done in time and then shipped over. Alright. Pop the inventory sheet in with that. So, 
and we want that one. Those were the two that we opened in this video. Um, I will leave it here and I will do the last two paintings in the next video just to keep them at manageable um, times. You know, you don't want to be sitting here for hours and hours watching someone open diamond paintings. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will, yeah, the next video will go up probably in a day or so. Um, I think these ones are going up through the 12 Days of Christmas Craft ones, so I don't want to overwhelm anyone with videos, but I don't want to put the diamond painting things on hold either, so, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a like or a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, you can hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of when my videos go up, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.